Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris here at the Tripods, and today in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Blue Yeti microphone. Now, if you guys have seen any of my reviews in the past couple months, they have been using this microphone for the most part. I have been using this microphone to record my audio. Now, you guys can tell the difference between my audio when I record from the Yeti mic and when I record through my camera. Right now, what you're hearing me is talking through my DSLR in input, my DSLR's built-in microphone. You guys can maybe hear it peaking here and there. Right about now, you guys should be able to hear me speak through the Blue Yeti microphone. Now, I'm about a foot, foot and a half away from the Yeti mic right now, so you guys should definitely hear a big improvement in the audio quality coming from my DSLR, then going to the Blue Yeti microphone itself. The Blue Yeti microphone is a amazing amazing device and I want to thank Blue so much for hooking me up with this Blue microphone for hooking me up with this product for review and use in all my videos so whenever you guys watch my video the audio is being brought to you guys by Blue microphone whenever you guys hear my video for the most part the amazing audio like I said is because of Blue microphone Blue mic Yeti mic so if you guys are interested and you guys like how my video sound definitely go and check out this product at the end of this video at the link in the video description now, a cool thing about this, let's just let's just look at this uh, microphone in the first place. It just looks amazing. It looks just it looks professional. It looks like it should be in a studio. When somebody walks in, my, whenever anybody walks in my room and they see this, they're like, "What are you doing? Are you a music recorder? What are you? Are you a producer? What are you doing with that microphone?" They're and it, they're just astounded by the way it just looks. It's got its own stand. It's like it's on on its own pedestal. Uh, it looks just amazing. Uh, um, it has its stand itself, like I said, and it has these two knobs here on the side, which are uh, make it looser so you can adjust your microphone and whatnot. You guys can probably hear that. Um, and uh, on the front of the blue microphone, let's see if we can get a nice little focus here for you guys. On the front, you have your volume, which if you had headphones plugged in, uh, that's where your output will be coming through the headphones. This is where you control your volume. You have a mute button right there, which will I uh, will stop talking right now. Blinks when it's off, so you can mute. And how it stays steady is when uh, the microphone is actually being in use and being able to be used. You can see you have a nice little chrome ringer on the top of your microphone. You have a very nice mic cover as well, nice housing there. Uh, if we go ahead and spin the mic over here to the back, you guys probably heard all that movement. You have your gain and your different patterns. The first pattern you guys see here is for bi-directional. What that's going to do is say you have one person on this side of the mic and then one person on the other side of the mic talking to each other. So that's going to be great for interviews. If you guys do a lot of interviews, this, this will definitely come in handy for you. The next one you guys see, the full circle right there, that is for omnidirectional. That's for if you just want audio coming from all three condensers inside the microphone. That's if you want to get audio from all around you. So that's going to be great for uh, conferences if you're going to be recording something like that. Uh, the next one you guys see over is the one I'm using right now called the cardioid. Excuse me if I'm saying that wrong. Uh, it's basically so it gets the audio from one direction on the microphone. So you guys may not be able to hear me this well right now because the microphone is turned around. So this is going to be great for podcasts or if you guys do a lot of voiceovers, it's going to be great for that. And the last one you guys see there, stereo, what that's going to do is that's going to be good uh, if you're just recording voice so you guys can get audio from both sides, from the main and a little bit from the back of the microphone. So you get a little bit of everything uh, coming from uh, stereo. On the bottom of the microphone, you guys can see down here you have a USB input. That's how it's going to be powered and how it's going to record. You have your shock mount right here or your mic uh, mount right in there. And you have your headphone jack right there as well. You have your gain on the back of the microphone, which will uh, control the amount of signal that is sent from the microphone to your computer, recording the audio as Inside well. Inside of the hood of your microphone right here, under the hood, you have three condenser capsules. Most USB microphones you'll get out there on the market have one or two. This one has three, so you're going to be getting an amazing sound quality coming from this microphone. It's going to be picking up the most that it possibly can. Now, a couple downsides to this device that I've found. It picks up a little bit too much sometimes because it's not in a real shock mount. Uh, say if you just have it on your table and you're recording a podcast, or if you have it on your desk and you're recording a podcast, or if you're doing a video like me, if you put a product down, 
it's gonna pick that up. It's it's good that it's so super sensitive. It'll pick up your voice uh, from a good distance, and it'll definitely pick up every detail of your voice. But the downside to it is that it's very very sensitive, and it'll pick up a slightest bump on the table, the slightest knock if you just bump into the table, and it could shoot your whole review down. It could just ruin your whole video, and you might have to start over or something like that. But like I said, it's not that big of a flaw if you just put it off to the side a little bit more maybe or figure out a place for it that you won't have that sound if you won't have it hitting the ground or won't have it hitting the surface that you're on. Um, but all around, it's an amazing USB microphone. It has amazing sound quality. It's available on bluemic.com. You guys can see it back there in the background for $150. It's a pretty steep price point. Uh, but they also have different um, different microphones, different USB microphones out there. They have the Yeti Pro, they have the Snowball, they have ones for your iPod. Uh, if you want to put in a microphone on your iPad, iPod, uh, you can do that as well. So you can go around and have a portable recorder. But I really do enjoy this uh, blue uh, USB Yeti microphone. It has amazing sound quality. I see it right down there, THX. It has really, really nice sound quality. I do enjoy it. Also, on the bottom, you have rubber feet. So that will keep it from sliding around on your desk as well. So they did think of a lot when they did. They maybe missed a couple things, but all around, I really do enjoy this microphone. It's a great product. It helps my videos out so much by giving my videos so much better audio quality. And I want to thank you guys for watching my review. I want to thank you, Blue, for hooking me up with this product for review and use in my videos. And uh, if you guys hear any audio in my future videos, it's thanks to this microphone and it's thanks to bluemic.com. So definitely go and check them out. Check out their other products if you're not fully interested in the Yeti like I am. Uh, but I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys later. <gasps> A priest.